What's up everyone? Drew Snipes here with Beers and Gears and on today's episode we're going to do a blind review and demo of this Moore Solo effects pedal. Uh, by blind means I didn't really look up any information on this thing. Um, I had this thing borrowed from a friend. He said, hey, check this out, see what you can do with it. I said, all right, cool. I'll let you know. So, no idea what this thing's capable of and we're going to find out together. So, super excited about this one. I love overdrive distortion pedals uh, especially ones that surprise me I've never used the more pedal before so this could be really exciting so let's get right on into the demo uh, signal chain today is going to be the grapefruit Kramer Beretta special into the pedal into the front mm -hmm. of the Randall RX 120 RH guitar is in drop D standard sounds like this So on the pedal, you get yourself three knobs. You get a level and a tone and those mini pedal knobs that always feel like you're gonna break them. And then you get one big guy. This is your gain knob. So we'll see how much gain we can get. There's also a three-way switch. It says natural at the top, tight in the middle, and classic in the bottom. We'll figure out what that does. Start with everything at 12 o'clock. Start with the tight function. This is the Moore Solo effects pedal. <laughs> cool. All right, switching over to the natural. Just do this um, three-way switch first. This is natural. <laughs> Go into the tone. Cool. All right, so let's go into the gain. Cool, cool, natural, gain up, tone up a little bit. Let's try this out. <laughs> to classic gain all the way up tone to nine at three o'clock <laughs> Tone up, natural sound. Let's go tone down, level up. So it's turning 
gain up a little bit more. So that's pretty cool. So that is very similar to how I have my orange uh, Crush Pro set up. It's pretty good sound, I think. Uh, with the tone up and the drive up, it was kind of a Marshall-esque kind of sound. So um, cool pedal, man. That's pretty cool. A lot of versatility in this thing, I think. Uh, a lot of different amps. <clears throat> A lot of different amp types you can get out of it from an orange to a Marshall, so that's pretty good. Um, not an overbearing amount of gain on there, so it's not like gonna hit you some metal zone and HM2 sounds, but pretty good. It's pretty chunky. I like it. Let's crank everything up, man. Let's hear it some more. Yeah, so you definitely get a lot of gain on, on tap for you. Um, like a hard rock, like heavy metal-esque. Um, nothing really crazy, no no Cannibal Corpse type sounds, no death metal. Um, maybe you can kind of get a doom sound out of it if you're messing around with the tone. Probably get a little crunchier. That's pretty good. So, definitely versatile pedal. So, I'm pretty excited about that. It's pretty cool. And I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this blind review and demo of the Moore Solo Distortion Overdrive Effects pedal. This thing has been pretty cool. A lot of good sounds out of there. Pick yourself up one. With a more, I'm pretty sure they're like in the $80 range for a um, a new one. You could probably get one on a musician's friend for maybe 50 or 60 because great deals there sometimes. Uh, so check one out. This is pretty cool. A lot of good sounds in there. So this has been Drew Snipes of Beers and Gears. This is the more solo guitar effects pedal. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for future content. A lot of cool stuff coming with amp reviews, guitar reviews, uh, guitar re-reviews, fun stuff. Drew Snipes, Beers and Gears, out.